Welcome to another Webflow tutorial. Uh, for those who don't know, my name's Jasper, and what we're gonna be covering today is the text over hover tooltip. Now, for those who don't know what that is, if you hover over this button, you'll see that nice little hover over there that pops up every time I go over the button. So I'm just gonna exit out of that. Now we're gonna start from fresh here. So this is real quick, it will take you about a minute of that. So the first thing we need to do is get this JavaScript library tippy. So we're gonna put this in our header code. So let's copy that. And we're going to go over here to the settings for our page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where you'll see the header code here. Paste that in. Now we will also need this in our body code. So this is another script that's going to help it uh, use the JavaScript library. Now let's pop that in there. There we go. And that's all we're going to need. And then now we're going to need most likely, let's say, a button. Now this can be used of anything, so um, it doesn't have to be a button. It could be text, a link, whatever you like. Now just to make it a little bit easier to see, we'll change the color. Okay, now this is an important one. For it to work, you need to make sure the class is tooltip. So just add that to the end. Now we're going to need to give it a custom attribute so it knows what to say. So we're going to come down here. Now the name of this attribute is data tippy content. Now I will include this all in the description of the video. So if you need to find the code, it will be in the description. So let's add that in, get rid of the space. Okay, look at my button. There we go. And we'll remove that one there. And that should work. So let's go publish. Let's check it out. Oh, I think we've got an error. Now, what it will be is most likely, there we go. I missed the D. Let's double check that. Not a capital D, lowercase. Data to be content. It's okay, people. It's all right to make mistakes. All right, let's try that again. There we go, look at my button. So now it's working as you can see. Now um, thanks for watching the video. If you do like the content, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe because I'm releasing uh, Webflow tutorials on a regular basis. Also, um, if you are looking for a project management tool, maybe a sales tool for managing your clients, there is a new one I've come across which is called monday.com. Now if you go to the description in this video, you will find a link there where you can get the free uh, monday.com account for a forever free account as well so you won't have to pay and you get all the features that you need but thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next one